Hello and welcome to this look at an aspirin 6 mark exam question. This is the levelled response style and it includes a percentage yield calculation but there's a few uh, sort of subtle things within the instructions that it might be worth considering as we go. Now the first thing to look at is what do they want you to do. They want you to outline a plan to prepare 8.1 grams of pure aspirin. So they tell you a little bit about the equation for the, the reaction. They also say that aspirin is much more soluble than hot water than cold and the percentage yield of aspirin from this method is 90%. So when we're reading the question, if I draw your attention to this sentence here, this is the instruction that we need. So they want the mass of 2-hydroxybenzoic acid and the purification steps from the hot reaction mixture. Now what's also quite interesting is they don't tell us what the melting point is or the boiling point of aspirin. They don't say out loud whether it's a liquid or whether it's a solid. So we've got to make a decision ourselves between whether we use um, liquid purification techniques such as distillation or the use of a separating funnel or the use of a drying agent, or whether we use solid um, purification techniques such as recrystallization, etc. Now there's a few little subtle hints that I'll draw to your attention as we go. So first thing is the structure of the aspirin. You can see that it's quite a large molecule, so it's going to have quite a lot of London forces, and therefore there'll be quite a lot of energy needed to overcome them. In addition, you've also got the OH on the carboxylic acid group at the top, which will suggest the potential for hydrogen bonding. So I'm going to go towards aspirin being a solid. Now you could argue that aspirin is a common enough and well-known enough compound for people to be expected to know it's a solid. Of course, you can buy aspirin tablets, for example, in shops for headaches. So it is fairly common knowledge that it's a solid, but there's enough information here for you to make a deduction using basic chemical knowledge like you've just done. It mentions a concentrated acid catalyst and also says it in the equation. Now, normally what that would mean is you might want to put something in about it being refluxed, reaction mixture because obviously high activation energy is probably in place. Why would you use the catalyst otherwise? But because it says from the hot reaction mixture, it means they've already recognized that refluxing or heating will take place. So there's no point in putting that down because they've already told you that it's a hot reaction mixture. So don't worry about putting anything down in your answer for that. Now, like we've already worked out, it's a solid. So the purification steps will involve things like recrystallization, filtration to reduce pressure, etc, etc. Now it also says that aspirin is much more soluble in hot water than in cold. So that would suggest the idea of using the minimum volume of hot solvent, which again leans towards the purification steps that we take for solid. And finally, the percentage yield of 90% suggests that some kind of scaling calculation is needed. To work out exactly how much 2-hydroxybenzoic um, acid is required in order to make your 8.1 grams of pure aspirin. So now we've had to think about it, we can start to consider how we might want to structure the answer. Now in the sentence that tells you what to do, it tells you to do two things. Include the mass of 2-hydroxybenzoic acid needed and the purification steps from the hot reaction mixture. Those are the two parts to the plan they want you to outline. So what I suggest is to make your processing and your construction of your answer easier, put it down as two um, uh, sort of subheadings. And then you can put down the bullet points for each one. So you'll see that what I've done at the top is I've worked out the MR for each of my two compounds. So if I take the structures and change them into molecular formulae, that allows me to process the MR and work it out really easily. Let me show you why. So if you take 9 carbons, that's 9 times 12. 8 times 1 is 8 hydrogens. 4 times 16 is 4 oxygens. 7 times 12 is um, 7 carbons over on the left here. Plus 6, plus 3 times 16. And you can put those into a calculator and you can see how it would end up as 138 grams per mole and 180 grams per mole. So molecular formula are quite useful even if they're not asked for, they're quite useful for working out MR. So what I want is the number of moles of aspirin that are in 8.1 grams. 
So I take 8.1 and divide it by the MR to get 0.045. And then I multiply that by my scaling factor that I mentioned earlier. Now, if I had um, 90 over 100, that's going to scale it down. I want to scale it up because I'm, I've got a less than 100% yield. So I need more moles of hydroxybenzoic acid than I have in my 8.1 grams of pure aspirin. And I need more moles because I have to cater for the fact that there is a less than 100% yield. So what you do is you take the percentage and put it underneath 100 and multiply your number of moles of product by that. So that gives me 0.05. So you can see that I want to use 0.05 moles of 2-hydroxybenzoic acid, slightly more in other words. So if you do a little quick check in your head, 0 0.045, it's roughly 90%, or exactly 90% of 0 0.05, isn't it? So then that sort of um, will clarify and reassure in your mind that you're on the right track. So to work out the mass of 2-hydroxybenzoic acid, I take that number of moles and I multiply it by the MR. And that gives me 6.90 grams. Now the other part of the, the answer was to talk about purification. So remember, I said that we didn't have to worry about stating that it's being refluxed because they've mentioned the hot reaction mixture already. So all they're going to do if you put down refluxing is say, well, we already told you that it was hot, so there's no need to tell us again. So you start at that point. So you imagine that you've done your refluxing and now you're cooling the mixture down and you filter it under reduced pressure using a Buckner funnel. And then you dissolve the impure solid in the minimum volume of hot water. Now that's taking into account the fact that aspirin is much more soluble in hot water than in cold water. So now you cool that and recrystallize it to let the crystals of pure aspirin come out and you filter under reduced pressure once more. And you use cold water to wash and rinse the product through the funnel and then you can allow it to dry and then you have your pure sample. Okay, so thank you for listening as always. Until next time, see you soon.